a local sheriff is catching heat on social media for using food as punishment. That right there is the Warden Burger. Butler County Sheriff Richard Jones serves it to inmates in isolation. Our Courtney King sat down with the sheriff today about why he uses it. But Courtney, my question is, would he eat the burger? Rob, that was my first question for him. So not only did he say he would, he did. And we have it all on camera. We're going to show you that in just a few minutes or in a moment, actually. The sheriff tells us that he's not the only one that does this and that detention centers all over the country do this. And it is important to note that the burger is not made to be bad. We do have the recipe for it, and we'll put it on our website for you. It's basically a turkey burger. The sheriff says that what's punishment about it is that the inmate in isolation gets that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day until they leave isolation. And like you said, he has caught a lot of flack on social media about this. One person even calling him a disgusting human. The State Department of Corrections is not my boss. So I basically don't give two what they think. On Wednesday, we sat down with Butler County Sheriff Richard Jones and watched him eat this. It's no ordinary burger. It's what the sheriff calls a warden burger. So you have zero complaints about the warden burger? Me personally, no, I, I would eat this. Hell, I'm eating it now. The sheriff tells us he's been serving it to inmates in isolation for all three meals for the last several years. This is jail. You don't get to choose. Your mommy and your dad and your aunt Lily doesn't get to make your meals. Uh, I'm your aunt. I'm your grandpa. I'm the one that get your meal prepared and make sure it gets done. The sheriff says inmates get put in isolation for things like fighting and the burger is an added punishment. If you get in trouble and you go to an isolation cell, it's no different than your regular cell. And that's what you get three times a day and you get all the water you can drink. It's very nutritious. It's good for you. It has lots of fiber in it. Fiber is good for you, right? Sheriff Jones says a dietitian approved the burger and it's not made to taste bad. It's got many ingredients. It's made with ground turkey, potatoes, carrots. Um, it's got celery. It's got flour. He says the punishment is in not having variety. Jones says inmates can be in isolation for up to 10 days at a time, which means they could eat up to 30 Warden burgers. Would you ever eat it for three meals a day? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm easy to please on what I eat. Um, I come from a generation that you eat whatever's in front of you. He says he hopes the burger will make inmates think twice about acting out while in the Butler County Jail. Has, has it worked? Have you ever had someone in isolation be like, I'm never getting in trouble because I don't want that dumb uh, burger we, ever again? Yeah, we've had people that leave. They always tell me they never want to eat that burger again. And this may be just a little piece that keeps you out of trouble, keeps you from hurting other people. And that's my goal here. So the sheriff tells us that he's never been fined or ordered to stop using the burger to fight some, despite some state officials saying that he's violating some policies. And guys, I was not able to try the burger because I'm gluten intolerant, but we have a burger for you guys that the sheriff gave us, you know, because we're doing our job. We need to test the product, let our viewers know what's going on. So Rob, I think or Steve, if, if you guys could taste yeah, test that and let us know what it tastes like. We cut it in half, but just like you said, it does smell like a pizza. Yeah, it does. Um, Uh, mm. Too bad you have to go to jail to eat this. It's pretty good. Yeah, we thank the sheriff for okay. uh, sending one back. It's not bad. Like, I don't, I don't think this is punishment. Would I want to eat it every day? Probably not. Three meals a day? I'm a former vegetarian, so I'm used to stuff like this. But it, actually, it's not bad. Yeah, it really totally. Is. totally. So, mm. That was a very, very interesting story, Courtney. And I'm glad you got the sheriff's perspective. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times when you see things on social media, it just kind of touches the surface, right? And sorry, Mom, for talking with my mouth full. I know. Tell me about it. Okay, so weather-wise, the humid weather is returning. Yes, it is. And it looks like we'll make it through the weekend without a lot of humidity. Excuse me. But, but. but Monday it begins. Okay, so and, and, and what I noticed, when you step outside right now,